Hello, my name is Debarga Sengupta. Today I am going to show you how you can visualize scraped data using Google Fusion Tables. One of the advantages of using Google Fusion Tables is you can sometimes see the pictures that are usually showing up as links when you open it in a spreadsheet program such as Excel or OpenOffice. So, Many of you probably know how to scrape the data, but I'll just quickly go through the process. So here's a page that I like, which is the American Planning Association page, and I'll type NetViz for the app. And when it opens, you will see towards the bottom of the page, there would be a list that shows the pages that you like. Here it says you like the following pages. So here is the American Planning Association page. And um, to the extreme right, within parentheses, you would say there it says posts by page and users. So what we'll do is we'll click on that. And it should generate three files. One of the file is a GDF file, which you can open using programs such as Gephi. And then there would be two other files that end with a tab extension, which are tab delimited files. What we'll do is we'll save those tab delimited files, one of which contains links to the pictures, and open it using Excel or OpenOffice. And then we will try to visualize that using Google Fusion Tables. So here is a TSV stat file, which we are going to right click and do a save link as. And here on the desktop, we have a folder where we are going to save it. And we are just going to call it stat. It will save with an extension of .tab. So let's save that one. Well, here it shows up. And here we have um, an empty worksheet um, called scraped files. We can drop the stat.tab in here. So this is how it shows up. And as you will see that there are several tables. This first row, I will just make it bold so that the, uh, the column headers can be read. Here is a link that shows uh, the link from where it was posted. And here is a column called picture where there is a bunch of links that you would see for the photos that uh, the users or the status updates included. So these are links, and you can only see the links here. Now I'm going to go and open up Google, which I have open here. And um, I have signed on to it. If you have um, a Google account, you can very easily do that. It's a free account. And then go and click on Even More. Um, it opens up this page with all the different kinds of apps that Google has. And you click on Fusion Tables, which is towards the bottom of it, and click on Create in this web dialog, where you can choose a file from this computer. So I'll click that, and I'll select the scraped file where we have saved that stat.tab, um, dragging into it, and then we'll hit Open. Now we'll click Next it will take you to another box as it loads the file where it says um, it's importing a new table. These are the column names, which are in row one, which is this row. And then you click Next, and it will give you a table name. You can put in um, attribute data and other information here if you want, and then click Finish. It will take a few minutes uh, to save the file and generate what Google calls fusion tables. And see here, you can actually see the pictures, uh, not the links that normally show up in OpenOffice or Excel um, if you open that tab file. There are other functionalities that you can play with. Like here, it would show up in a different format. It shows cards for each of the row information. Then you can also do um, charts and all other uh, neat things if you want. Um, and that's the end of this demonstration. Feel free to play with it. If you go into Google and type Fusion Tables, 
um, you will see um, that you would find a lot of links for help. This particular link uh, shows some of the functionalities of the Fusion Table that you can explore and use Fusion Tables for all different kinds of stuff that you want to do. It's a free app. If you have a free Google account, you can use this. I hope uh, this is helpful. And um, now I'm going to be signing off. Again, this is the Barga.